was designated Rhode Island's official haunted site. As a cryptozoologist, I study unknown animals. So there was these two couples of 20-somethings. They were both married couples. So they were in this 57 Chevy, and they went where the old abandoned warehouse was, and they started noticing this creature kind of creature started doing one of these things, walking towards their car. They became extremely upset. Her husband, Roger, had this drawn for him by an artist. I get the reports, I look at the evidence, and, and there to me, uh, I start with animals, and that's the way I usually view it. Is there any footprints? Is there tissue samples? Is there DNA? And then all of the testimonial. There is this dispute about uh, whether or not there were legs, but there's definitely never been any arms. I write books. I write a blog called Crypto Mundo. Uh, one of the, the parts of Crypto Mundo is to talk about these new animals that are being, being discovered all the time. Uh, whether it's a, a new species of manta ray, which was discovered this year in the Pacific, to uh, you know, new monkeys or other animals that are out there but not seen by Western scientists. I consult to television programs and um, you know do all kinds of different things. These talks, for instance.